Good morning, YouTube world. So anyway, I am on the road headed down to my wife's uh, father's place. Uh, Sammy passed away in April and it's August now and I gotta come down here and do a little cleanup. Um, also, we're having the, the power was turned off due to some weird thing with the estate and the power and the direct deposit and withdrawal thing. And anyway, we're having the power turned back on and uh, that way we can list the place and show that everything works properly and all that fun jazz. And so I got to go down here and uh, flip some switches to make sure that when they turn the power back on, it don't fry everything. Uh, right now I'm behind a dump truck who seems to want to touch the brakes every two seconds. I don't know if he's driving with two feet or what he's doing. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go down here and take care of this and I'll show you a little bit about it on the way. So stick around. Okay, here we are pulling up to the house. Uh, let's see how bad it is. Got a lot of grass growing up out here. I imagine it's going to be pretty overgrown. We haven't cut the grass in quite a while. It does look a little neglected, don't it? The grass is pretty tall. Yeah. Well. A lot more still here. So... I'm gonna get parked and go inside and check out the house and see where I can turn off the power. And then I guess we'll get started once I get that done and call the power company, I'll get started doing some cleanup. So first steps first, let's get in here and shut off the power somewhere. All right, I found the power pole coming in. There is a power disconnect in here. Flip the box up. It's got the power disconnect. I turned all these off just to make sure. So now I'm gonna call the power company and let them know that I turned it off. Or, yeah. And we'll go from there. So the trash bags on the back porch were, I guess, left here by my wife's aunt. Just as a, a fun little present for us. Um, I can't get the mower running. I've been trying to get it running. I can't get it running. I'm gonna try and try something else when, uh, when her brother gets here. We do have power. Power's turned back on. You can hear the freezer running. Um, called the power company. They they made the switch. I flipped the lights. Everything's on. So we're good to go. So let me haul some stuff to the dump. I've already got some stuff loaded up in the back of the truck. But let's go ahead and take a load. All right. That's one load. Uh, many more to come. All right. Maybe we got the motor going. I got load number two going to the dump. Uh, Jamie's here and he's cutting the grass. All right, so Jamie's cutting grass pretty actively. You can hear him over there cutting. And I've got load number three. Let's do it. All right, so we got the ongoing saga of the belt coming off. And uh, if Sammy was here, he could help us figure out what to do. But we're having to figure it out and uh, we're unsupervised. So I don't know, we're gonna cross our fingers. All right, so we was cutting grass, the belt kept throwing, we realized it needed to be replaced. So I called around here in this area and found a little place that does belt repair or belt replacement. And I got me a new belt. Uh, we measured it and whatever, $64. But anyway, uh, I'll show you where a place I got it. So this is the little place that I got the, the thing. Um, small engine repair. He had what I needed and so now I'm headed back. We're gonna try to get this done before it rains, like it might rain. I hope we can get this done before it rains. All right, got a brand new belt on this here Husky. 46 inch deck, 22 horsepower, zero turn. Yeehaw. All right, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I got here eight o'clock. Uh, the yard's cut. We got the new belt on the mower. It's working great. And now we're starting to, well, you can hear the weed eater going in the back. But we're starting to get together the stuff that's going to go to the salvage yard. The salvage yard says they won't come pull this stuff out of here. But if we put it together in one spot, then they'll come get it. So I'm going to do my best to try and move some crap over. See what I can get done. So everything in and around that shed has to go somewhere. Garbage, wherever. 
Um, I'm putting a lot of stuff under here for now. Hopefully that'll be the right thing. I don't know. The house is completely empty from all the stuff. I took everything that needed to go to the dump to the dump. So yeah. All right, it's a two gallon can. Um, I filled this up before we started cutting grass and I just filled it up again. So that's uh, between this and the other mower that we tried to get going. That's uh, four gallons of gas today. How about that? That's fun. By the way, gas is uh, three, I think three, 51 for the uh, 93 octane, which is what you're supposed to use in lawnmowers if you can't get the ethanol free. Uh, so that was about $24. I don't know, I don't know the math, but anyway, that's just what it was. All right. All right, so um, we've cut the grass, we've, we've cleaned up. Uh, this shed here had a whole bunch of stuff in it and I'm standing underneath it while it's raining um, because we moved a bunch of that out over there because we were told that we had to have all the stuff in one spot in order for the salvage people to pick it up. So we're moving stuff over there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna say that's a that's a day for me. I'm gonna head out and Jamie's gonna spend the night and work on this again tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, yeah, if you know anybody that wants to buy a property in uh, Roundo, South Carolina, let me know. All right, so uh, I'm out of there. I got the fridge loaded in the back of the truck and uh, we cleaned up as much as we could. And it's all good now. It started raining cats and dogs and I got out of there just in time before I floated away. Couldn't see very well, there was so much rain and now it's all sunny and bright and shiny like a new penny. So anyway, that was my day today. Thanks for watching.